Blessings and blessings, beautiful souls. I posted a video yesterday that uh, was from a woman named Saudi Psychologist. Um, and that video <laughs> ruffled some feathers. I think in an actually beautiful way. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to, to address some of the points that she shared with me. And uh, yeah, if there's any of you who would like to come on and have a conversation about this, uh, yeah, I'm open to it. Let's see. Um, so there were really um, heavy comments from men and women. Um, and some women on the side of, watch my fingers, um, what she was sharing. Which in essence, what I believe to be what she was sharing underneath some of the things that I don't resonate with is we've become a culture that is easily and constantly blaming the other. Right? It's men's fault. Right? It's women's fault. It's this person's fault. And, you know, what I find interesting, before I even get to that, is anytime I post a video calling men forward, all the women on my page, yeah, let's go, get them, tell them, Pete. But the moment there's a video that's also holding up the mirror and saying, hey, she said what, what many of it has said. I've said it. Everybody's ex-boyfriend and husband cannot be a narcissist. It is, it is impossible for there to only be one crazy person in every relationship. That somehow, some way, every dude who doesn't um, acquiesce to the ways in which you think he should is somehow a narcissist or an asshole or X, Y, and Z. Everybody has a seat at the table in my book. All of us. Now, I'm going to jump to another post and another person. The um, holistic psychologist made a post yesterday that, yesterday that said, nobody wants to parent their partner. Now, I wish she was on here because I would go live with her and we could discuss and debate this easily because I hear that nobody wants to, but that's what we're doing. We are reparenting each other. We are holding each other through our wounds. That is a thing that's necessary for marriage that men also do. Let me, let me let you in on something, women. I know you get this, but let me just let you in. When the moon turns to a full moon, and the tides change, and the estrogen and the hormones in your body change, guess what also sometimes happens? Sometimes you can become extremely irritable and very difficult to navigate. In those moments, men are reparenting and reconfiguring how they work with you based on what is occurring at that time. So the idea that men are somehow these just whining little babies that you all are parenting and taking care of and narcissists and all these other things is highly not true. We know in nervous system work now, scientifically, that we actually have to co-regulate each other. For me to regulate, I need you to co-regulate with me. So, these are two different posts, but to me there's similarities in them, even though they're in two different directions. So hear this. She said something about sex workers. I don't agree with what she said. I think if you want to be a sex worker, you'd be a sex worker. There can be pride and, and uh, beauty in that job as well. It's a beautiful thing. It's one of the most important things. And if somebody is a professional in opening themselves and, and, and allowing um, another person to experience some of the highest heights of pleasure, I am not against or, um, what's the word? I don't look down on that. What I do find interesting 
and slightly agree with is the idea that hmm, oof, we're about to go deep for a second so sometimes when somebody's really wounded they swing the pendulum this way right so so somebody's in a relationship they're really hurt and they go oh it's my fault my fault my fault and then at some point they get so mad that they swing the pendulum this way and they go nope it was yours 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 and so what she was pointing to was all these years of feminine all these years, feminine feminism and burning our bras and men are the devil and all of these things plus the rise of social media and the this this sort of booty clapping you know bikini pic look at my titties look at my booty and also oh my god hashtag no makeup while i have <clears throat> fake eyelashes and Botox and filler and everything else. There is so much to be accountable for in this conversation. So, I don't agree with what everything she said, but I do align with the idea that it is also time for women to take responsibility as well. That's what I said. I think that um, we need each other. I think that love is the answer. And I think that that love is, shows up in ways that may not feel comfortable to uh, you know, a general mm, group, if you may. most of the rape uh, I'm gonna take it to another level so if I've dated a hundred women 97 of them have been sexually abused molested or raped some version of that if I've um, some of you know I lead workshops all over the world and those workshops are based around trauma and nervous system and we invite people to share some of the deepest, darkest secrets. And oftentimes, what's shared is if there's 10 men, seven of them have been sexually abused in some form or fashion. So we have, we have something, we have an issue from where I sit. And it's around sexuality and it's also around um, shame. And I think it's highly important because shame wants to hide it wants to conceal and when we put a flashlight of love on the thing that all so many of us have felt so much shame around it no longer has the same weight and to me tying this all together I think it is important that we hold the mirror up to each other um, for years I've had women in my workshops and in my coaching programs who say things like, um, you know, how do I with a partner who isn't on my level? Like, I read the books, I do the workshops, he doesn't. And when I, like, dig in there and we start to talk and work together, what I often notice is like, okay, so t tell me some of the things that you, you don't like about him. Well... He like hangs out with his friends and like laughs really hard and like you know he's like plays these video games and he like really loves them and like you know here I am like struggling with X Y and Z and I'm like well do you have friends? Well no, and I'm like okay so so the way this is set up is you're better than him, which I'm certain he feels the energetics of. But this person who's not in personal development is enjoying his life. And because you are not the single thing that he's focused on, you're upset about that. I'll tell you this. One of the biggest fights Alexi and I had, right, top 10, was about a kitchen towel. This is right when we first started dating. Um... I hung the kitchen towel up in a particular way. And Alexi 
believed that how I hung it up was not the correct way. Okay, so I'm gonna pause and let that land here for a moment. We were in a power dynamic. This was a this was a, a fight, not about a kitchen towel, but about whose way was gonna be the way that wins who, who was going to control our relationship? And I understand to this day that her perspective was, well, in my mind, which is even deeper, you know, that I'm going to be the one who washes the dishes most. So I get to decide how that towel is folded. And... Um, in where I sat, I paid the rent too. And I get to decide how that kitchen towel was folded. I also wash the dishes. I also do all the other things. Now, all of you know, at this point, it wasn't about the towel. It was us working through power dynamics and control. And each of us was trying to control the scenario so that we feel safe. Because that's what everything's about. Safety. How do I feel safe with you? I acknowledge that um, just like being Afro amazing in this world, if you came in the body of a woman, you have an extra set of things to think about. It can be dangerous being a woman, period, anywhere in the world. And I also acknowledge that that pain potentially gets projected and pushed towards men in general. And we can't live with, and we definitely can't outlive without. So I'm going to hop off. All I wanted you to know and hear was that I don't believe what she said is fully true. But I do think there are pieces of it that are worth taking a look. Uh, I will save this live and I'll do another one. And holistic psychologist, uh, if you're listening, uh, first of all, uh, you have some beautiful work. And I also um, d disagree as a person who's been in a relationship for 10 years and married for six or seven that uh, I, I get that nobody wants to parent their partner but I would disagree that I think that's also super necessary because that's who we're dealing with the nine-year-old the broken little nine-year-old boy or girl who's trying to control everything so that she or he or gender non-binary feels safe blessings and blessings more to come go watch the video and then come back and leave a comment here I'm gonna share this peace y'all